Hi everyone, I hope you're well. This is Coins Kid. Just going to dive into that once again. Thank you so much to all of you that, that write comments and you know show your appreciation. It means so much, you know. And I do try and reply to each one of you, and I do get involved in the community there. And you know, thank you honestly. You know, it's really good to see that we're building a really strong community here. You know, across the board, not just people that are into V chain, but multiple projects and obviously crypto in crypto in all. And once again, please do get yourself in in the crypto uh, channel there on, on on Telegram. There's been reports of the link not working, so please do contact me and I'll, I'll try and sort that out because I've back tested it and it, it does actually work. So I don't know what's going on there. Anyway, enough rambling. Let's dive into VET then. So at the minute, you know, all this chart, you've got, I've, I've outlaid the, the, the targets up there at the top. I've outlaid, you know, this high. You've got your, your support here that you can't lose because then you potentially look at a larger correction. So you've got everything in front of you, okay? You can see what's occurring, okay? And I just want to reassure you, you know, it's not really pumping yet. It's not going to the moon yet or breaking these levels, but we are looking healthy, okay? Just reassuring you, you're looking really healthy, okay? Because what you've got, if we zoom out, okay, on the daily time frame, on the daily time frame here you've got this yellow line okay and as you can see on the yellow line there that's called the 20 EMA and on the daily time frame that's actually creeping up okay which is good it's good to see that it's creeping up obviously it's going to creep up because it's going to catch up with you but this is what this does sometimes charting and, and price action it sort of it hits a plateau goes a bit sideways and allows the EMAs to creep up okay because at one point when we we're up here the EMA was down here okay it was really far down here and what 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 this does it allows these to creep up refuel these rocket ships okay because that's what you're looking for these back tests of, of retest of the EMAs to refuel the rocket ships back test and retest of these rocket ships and, and just give it some energy okay and that's basically what you're looking there you know effectively We've spoken about the support on the four hourly on the EMAs there and effectively, you know, common sense is telling you that this is creeping up now, creeping up, creeping up. And you're potentially looking at a sort of retest off this 20, you know, and as that creeps up, creeps up, you're being forced into a corner. And what that does, that forces a move. OK, and if you look at it, you're almost forming some kind of, you know, sort of um, ascending triangle type pattern there. So you've got all these confluences to say you've got the cup and handle, you've got the, the, the breakout of a W bottom, you've got this ascending triangle and it's all confluence to say, OK, level of consolidation and a, a breakout, a move is is forced okay and that, that's basically it it's like being forced in the corner and it forces to break so potentially you are looking at you know just to just to let you know and update you on everything we've set these outlined all our targets okay so you've got the fall down you've got the, the pump up and all that kind of stuff but you know in, in the current price action you're potentially looking at this EMA coming up and, and forcing it into a move so that's basically v chain at the minute bit flat bit boring i know it is and, and that's the way crypto gets sometimes okay for those of you you're new to the space and you don't see much happening it is a patience game you do need to have patience you can see just there actually zooming in on the four hour we've got this close below this 20 ema so effectively just from looking at that now you can see that we are kind of rolling a little bit so i would say that you are looking at a sort of rolling over going sideways not necessarily crashing to oblivion but you are looking at a level of consolidation there where you, you are going to get caught between these emas like this okay as it creeps up slowly creeps up goes a bit sideways allowing that 20 ema on the daily time frame there just to catch up okay because you do want to see that you know you do want to see the, the the daily especially catch up with a price because what it does it catches up and it, it just refuels off it as we stated okay and then look down there when it does that when it does that okay when it when it gets some retests you see the healthy retest you've actually broken down a few times below that so again if it was to do that and re break down and touch the 20 the 55 the red line that is perfectly healthy still okay i want to assure you of that moving forward because you are in a really really good strong uptrend for for uh, v chain here okay and you look just there you go up and you, you come back down and test the yellow line and march on and you can see as you've gone up here you've not really tested the yellow line other than that one time there so potentially you know you're looking at a level consolidation going sideways allowing this yellow line to creep up back test it as support before marching on and, and taking out these highs and moving them to them new levels so that's effectively v chain um what i'm going to do though right now okay I'm going to be a little bit exuberant here and I'm going to give a bit of a larger price prediction than that okay so I'm going to I'm going to look at a different chart I'm going to look at VeChain versus Teva right and what I'm going to do that is the chart that we're in on, on anyway isn't it is it what kind of what chart is that yeah that's the chart that we're on anyway what am I doing 
So I'm going to look at this chart. It's, it's exactly the same chart. There's no different. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to zoom out here on the weekly. Okay. Because what you've got there on the weekly as well, you can see that you've made that bullish cross just there in, in June of last year after the Corona dump. A lot of projects have done that. And you can see since then it's just gone on and on and on and on. And on. Right. So what I'm going to do is use the Fibonacci retracement tool here to lay a future price prediction. So what you do, you go from the top there, which is the impulsive move, down to this bottom. Okay. And you can see, right, you can see through that, a Fibonacci extension potentially where your next big impulsive move is on the weekly time frame anyway so what you've got here you've got this bottom okay so when you went from this bottom you went up and for, formed something called an impulsive move and right now you can see you are correcting okay you've not corrected a great deal to be fair on the weekly time frame okay so you 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 may be potentially looking at that re, uh, larger retracement where you do start to come back down okay but at the moment you've not got that so effectively on the next impulsive wave where it finds its base you could be looking at a march on and you would be like looking at a next impulsive wave up there at, at 0 0.19 so that that's a bigger price prediction there than that one that we've got in the current four hourly time frame there that's a bigger sort of price prediction moving forward off a next big impulsive wave after a level of consolidation you know and back testing those supports moving on that is a more of a, a long-term mid-term price prediction for vchain providing we can maintain this healthy sort of movement that we've got you know the impulse the correction the impulse the correction the impulse the correction you can see if you look at it on the grand scheme of things at the moment on the weekly you're not really corrected that much you know compared to the, the other corrections you know you've got that larger correction there that impulsive wave that corrective wave that impulsive wave that corrective wave you can see that this is a very very big corrective wave okay so at the moment you know you've not really got a really big corrective wave at the moment so again just looking at that you, you could still see a further breakdown just to make you aware you've got to look at everything you know for from a common sense perspective but just there you know you have got this level of consolidation there that that corrective wave there which did go sideways for a little bit and then form that new big impulsive wave so basically that's just a, a, a target and that's what we do the, the called Fibonacci extensions and you can sort of see where potential resistance is going forward for, for VChain so that's another price target there for, for VChain okay so I hope you enjoyed that video uh, please do subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel again that's a long-term price prediction well mid-term over the next couple of months or so providing VChain can maintain its healthy uh, upward trajectory that it does find itself in and there's no reason why it can't it's, it's a really good project it's a serious project and it's making strides but at the moment it's just sort of cooling down a bit okay all right cheers bye bye take care bye bye